Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to part eight of our Undertale playthrough. It's me, Fizzy, and we we spent we spent far too long fighting Papyrus than I care to mention. And now that we've befriended him with our epic fighting skills and our love of cut up hot dogs, we have two options: we can continue with the story, or we can go meet Papyrus for a sick date. And I think we're gonna go for the sick date first. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Where are we going? Thirsties? Wait, what is that place called? Not Thirsties. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, his house? My house! He's, he's such a silly guy. I love him. What is going... What is going on in those two rooms up there? Let's... <sighs> Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. <laughs> All right, Papyrus. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. <laughs> and don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. So, oh, it's the kitchen. Oh, I I didn't realize I didn't realize that was a doorway. I was way too excited for the kitchen. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. I love trash cans. Thank you, Papyrus. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. A pie? There's an empty pie tin inside. It was, it was a pie. Aha, interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Huh. Impressed! I increased the height of my sink! Now I can fit more bones under it! Take a look-see! Oh, what?! Catch that meddling canine! That dog's eyeballs grew so big! Curses! God damn it. Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. What? <laughs> Forget it. No, I'm not. What is in here? No! Forget it. No! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take. What do you feed it? Responsi- uh, uh, I meant spaghetti, not responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Sprinkle- No! Papyrus, feed the rock spaghetti! It would be cuter! It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Uh, yeah. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. That's a good choice. I f should we? I don't. I feel like if I go after the dog, I'm not gonna find anything. And if I was gonna go after the dog, I probably should have done it right away instead of getting distracted by literally everything else in the house. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, "Stay tuned for a new program." <laughs> what? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Oh, Papyrus, it's okay, PP, I get it. That's my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. <laughs> go inside? No. <laughs> A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Boning. All right, sorry, Papyrus. The door is locked. Sans, let me in. I saw you in there with your little trumpet. What are you doing? It looks so fun under the door. It looks like it smells really psychedelic in there. I don't know how else to explain that, but I... It's fine. All right. Ugh, yeah, I'm ready, Papyrus. Are you ready? 
It's not gonna be fun. Tre oh, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. This man has a race car bed. <gasps> a race car bed, boner pile, the Jolly Roger, and some disco mice. That's not taxidermy, is it, Papyrus? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? No, 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 I want to read. Let me read about all of your stuff first. Yeah, I'm gonna... gonna egg you on a little bit, Papyrus. That's my bet. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. I mean, I don't think getting to the surface is gonna give you, you know... We'll let the man dream. It's okay. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Why did I think he was gonna say Santa and then I thought, no, the joke is he's gonna say Sans instead and then he said Santa instead of Sans and now I, it's fine. Tell me more about this Roger, sir. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> oh, Papyrus, you sweet summer child. I need to know what kind of literature Papyrus enjoys. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. This guy has quite the range. He's a man of, of literature and knowledge. The internet. I'm... <laughs> I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Papyrus. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has been besieged my has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Stop. The computer's internet bro Oh my god, I just realized that they're named after fonts. Comic Sans and Papyrus. And that's why Sans is such a goofball. God damn it. The computer's internet browser is open to social media sites. Uh, that's okay, Papyrus. I don't judge you. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. I even thought, even though it basically just happened, it basically, yeah, okay. What's back here? There are no skeletons in my closet, except me sometimes. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that. It's okay, Papyrus. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yeah. Okay, dating start! Alright, Papyrus, let me do this. Let me do this to you. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can spell prepared without several letters from my name. The Y, and the U, and the S. Russ. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C on your keyboard for dating HUD. <sighs> it, oh. Reel it in? Are we dating fish now? Crime? Egg. Who, what is egg? What is the egg meter? Wow, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. There's a dog on the radar. Ask them on a date. <laughs> Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for the part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. He is so goofy. Wait a second. Wear clothing. 
that bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! No. Your dating power. I am the master dater. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think- Oh, goddammit. What, tension? Don't think you've bested me. Are you gonna make me uncomfortable? That's really easy to do. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see? I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Cool, dude. I... No, wait, what did I say? I wasn't paying attention. I hope that was the positive. No, a genuine compliment. Okay, I said the good thing. I was so enamored by the cool dude. Oh yeah. Why do I feel like I'm playing Ace Attorney right now? <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. He j bro just said objection. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect? Okay. All right, we're inspecting. Okay. All right, cool dude. It's time to inspect your bits. Sorry. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. You know it's not your legs, Papyrus. There's no secret. It's still not legs. It's just a little higher. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. So the shirt just said dude before? I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart? But who doesn't? Those are, I thought those were basketballs. Not biceps, sir. What about your, your hands? Holding my hands, so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. What about your- let me hold your foot then. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Papyrus, go away! You're so silly, is it the hat? My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you! You know I'm opening that. Do you know what- is it a brain? It's spaghetti! <gasps> spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong. Oh, this ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. How old is that spaghetti, Papyrus? Eat it. How could I refuse? You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah. No, Papyrus, why do you sound like a horse? Oh my god. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It is time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus... Don't do this to me. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? <laughs> oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. I just got to, I just got rejected by a skeleton man in a cool dude shirt. Not again. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, 
On the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match you for- I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like all this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. <laughs> Papyrus, get the hell out of here! I just got friend zoned! Oh, and if you've ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. Don't rub salt in the wound, buddy, okay? That's enough. You can call me anytime. I said that's a. <sighs> Platonically, I said that's enough, Papyrus. Well, gotta go. Yeah, and then the and then he laughs at me on his way out. That's fine. It's okay. I get it. I understand. I don't understand. I'm gonna look in his closet. Close. Oh wait, we already we already looked in his closet. I was hoping something might change. Can I go in San's room now? San, what's up? Is there anything? No girls allowed! No boys allowed! But Byrus allowed! That's funny. Okay, I was trying to touch the wall to see if there's any secret switches, but I don't think there is. <laughs> is he in the kitchen? Can I go in here now? The sink is so tall. You can't even wash your hands. Yeah, but can I go inside? I want to live- I want to be a little under the sink, Gremlin. I would like to live there. Okay, so... We dated Papyrus. I think the next thing we need to do is continue down that other path, correct? Down this way and just move to our next location. Yeah. What's this now? Okay, so it's dark purple. Those, it kind of looks like there's minerals in the walls and I'm hearing lots of water. They look like little fish people. I like it here. Where are we? Tell me your secrets. Are we, is this the Underdark? Just kidding. I'm playing too much Baldur's Gate, I'm sorry. Yo, are you sneaking around out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I wanna be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> I won't tell on you, I promise. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Uh-oh. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and ha 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 ha. I get it, fish man. All right, let's muster our determination here. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. All right, Sans, tell me your secrets. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as le twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. We are not. <laughs> I. <laughs> we are automatically in Grillby's. Okay, Sans. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans! Greeting, Sans! Hiya, Sansy! Everybody knows Sans! He's such a cool guy! Hey, Sans! Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch! Here, get comfy! You did not. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyways, let's order. What do you want? What do I want? We're gonna go with a burger. 
Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of Berg. Don't shorten it to Berg. Don't do that. So what do you think? I don't like Berg, is what I think. Of my brother. Oh! Didn't let you finish the sentence. He's very cool. I like him. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. No, bye-bye, Riz. Okay, we got double Berg. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Oh, hell yeah. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Uh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. What? What are you... What are you playing at, Sans? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let her be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. He's doing good. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. That got serious real quick. Have you ever heard of a talking- I have. That guy is a little shit. I don't like him. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. Okay, Sans. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I know, okay, I see, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, echo flowers. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Jesus Christ! Yeah, sure, why not? Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. Anytime Sans asks for money, I'm just gonna ask for yes. I'm, I'm just gonna answer yes because I don't think he's ever gonna take it, truly. By the way, I was going to say something. But I forgot. Okay, Sans, that's fine. I I do that all the time. I also forgot. Harold said that your food is probably cold by now. That's I want to eat it anyways. I'm not going to not eat cold food. I will eat the crap out of some cold food, okay? Were they standing here? Yeah, they were standing there before. I knew that I remember them standing next to each other but I thought they might have moved. Okay, let's let's go back, because he showed us the shortcut to get here, but he never showed us the shortcut to get back. Okay, Sans. Silly little guy. Okay, so we're back to the rushing water, the minerals in the walls, and the fish people, and the echo flowers. Okay. Hey, Sans, what's going on? Can I get behind your little tent here? I can't. Okay, that's fine. Let's hang out again sometime. Yeah, Sans, that was a lot of fun. I love having my burgers covered in ketchup, getting stuck with a $10,000 bill, and um, then not eating. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Oh, no, why? This is my box. Sincerely, a box hater? Wait, hold on. I thought this was my box. It's just a box? Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Oh, okay, so I think this is just my travel box, right? It is. What? Does the la Did the label say that every time? I don't need anything inside the box. It's okay. Ooh! 
I- that looks like- that looks dangerous. What's this way? Also, uh, okay. Oh! Oh, no. Okay. Safe. Not dangerous. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Ah! Did you now? Not flower flower. How do I get back there? No! No! Okay. I guess it's not that hard to dodge the rocks. So I will be going uh, up to that path that I had previously said was too dangerous. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I th For some reason, I thought the water was going to like either inhibit my movement speed or it was going to make me... It was going to push me down as I moved. Okay, but behind the rushing water... Oh! Ooh! I did it. Y'all thought I forgot. I did not. Are there like little lights? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yeah! You got the old tutu. What? I got a tutu? Can I wear it? Old tutu, armor defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Hey! Oh, equip the old tutu. I did! I did it! What do my stats look like now? No, no, I didn't mean to cancel. Armor, old tutu. Okay, so I think it swapped the tutu for whatever I was wearing before the bandana. The manly bandana? Aww. Oh, okay. It's the manly bandana is not as strong as the pink tutu, though, so it's fine. We got ourselves a tutu that rocks! Maybe I should go back to the box. Okay. Okay. Oh, they are dangerous. I was curious, so I just kind of walked across willy-nilly and I'm like, if I get hit, I get hit. I'll see what happens. At least it didn't it didn't take HP, I don't think. They just kind of, they those are the things that make your that push you while you're trying to move. I don't like this. What is this? Is papyrus. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily Oh, it's Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier? Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But I'm dying. You don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? Papyrus is on my side. I understand. I'll help you. In oh, never mind. No, I'm sure he's he's just bluffing. Ah! No, I'm not here. Don't move. Undyne's stupid AF if she didn't see us in those bushes. Right, kid? Right? Wait, I didn't see the kid in those bushes. I must be stupid, too. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What do you get to- What do you do to get her attention? Haha, <laughs> come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. That sweet summer child is not the smartest either, but it's okay. It's okay.